Welcome back everyone. Today we're talking about something that is breaking news and something that a lot of people who watch this channel will probably be very happy to hear. And it pertains to these little guys, these pistol braces or stabilizing braces. So uh, yesterday or last night, as of when I'm recording this video, a judge in Texas gave everyone, every single American, uh, injunctive relief uh, against the ATF's rule uh, against these braces. So uh, right up front, hopefully that wind's not too bad. That's why I moved off the dock today for this video. Um, but the judge says here, conclusion, for the foregoing reasons, the court grants the motion and stays the rule in its entirety. So the rule in its entirety, that is the key. Um, so previous uh, injunctive relief for pistol braces has been done primarily either by district or by uh, being a member of a group, like a member of Gun Owners of America, Firearms Policy Coalition, um, NAGR, etc. Uh, but this one here uh, takes it to the next level. It is, I believe, nine pages long total, and I will link to it down below. But I took some notes here uh, just after reading it and kind of just to make the video make sense to you guys. Um, so back in, I believe it was January, the proposed rule or the new rule went into effect uh, regarding stabilizing braces. Now, the judge here took a uh, issue with the rule itself. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, there's something called the Administrative Procedures Act or the APA. And essentially executive agencies are required to follow the guidelines of the APA um, in order to make rules. Um, now, that's gonna be challenged uh, at the Supreme Court again next year, but for now, just go with me on that. And essentially one of the, the framework uh, frameworks for the APA is that um, when an administrative agency like the Department of Justice puts out a new rule, um, it has to be announced ahead of time and given time for public comment and then the rule goes out. And one of the tests of the APA is that it has to pass the logical outgrowth test. And uh, what the Garland case, our Mock v. Garland, which we've talked about here in the channel, and that's what the judge here is citing that case, found and the judge agrees with it here is that the initial rule that was put out proposed by the ATF had this point system if you guys go back and watch my video on it I broke it down completely uh, where if you had sights or a scope you got different point levels um, and a certain number of points meant that it was a SBR rather than a braced pistol and really there was no way to actually have a legally braced pistol based on the rules that were proposed at the time so when the ATF put out their final rule it was completely different as we know. And essentially, it once again, just banned all pistol braces with the exception of a few like one-off instances that maybe, I don't know, 1% of brace pistol loaders would qualify for. And so the judge here said that because the final rule that was put out was so different than the original one that was proposed, it fails what's called the logical outgrowth test. So he's striking it down for that. And then there's another reason that he gets into here in just a second. And uh, essentially it's the common use test. So uh, for folks who haven't heard of it, there's a case called Katano. And Katano was a case about stun guns and whether or not they were legal. And in that case, uh, the Supreme Court ruled that because there was between 200 and 300,000 of them, uh, they were in common use. So uh, if you look at the different estimates for braced pistols out there or pistol braces that are out on market, the estimates vary anywhere between 5 to 20 million, but let's just go on the low end for the sake of argument. Let's say there's 5 million of them. Then if 200 to 300,000 stun guns was common use, well then brace pistols certainly are common use. Um, so again, he says that because of that common use test, he's throwing out the rule. So it's essentially a combination of the logical outgrowth test legally and then the common use test. And uh, basically once this was announced, I went online <laughs> to Twitter and elsewhere to see what the uh, national gun rights groups were saying, like policy, Firearms Policy Coalition, Gun Owners of America, NAGR, uh, Second Amendment Foundation, etc. cetera. Um, because when I read that statement, and I'll just read it again for you guys, when I read that initially, it says, for the foregoing reasons, the court grants the motion and stays the rule in its entirety. So in its entirety, to me, that is a nationwide injunction. So I went several places online and looked, and because I'm not a lawyer, for, for, for folks who are new here, I don't even pretend to be one on the internet. Um, but I do, unfortunately, read way too many of these cases. And when I read that, I was like, that has to be a national injunction. And sure enough, lots of places I looked, there are attorneys who interpret firearms law for a living, and they're all saying, yes, this is, in fact, a national injunction. So uh, right now, every single person in America who has a brace pistol has an injunction against the brace rule. Now, what does that mean going forward? Well. 
Very likely the Department of Justice will appeal this case because that's kind of what they do. Um, but the problem they're going to have, well, they're gonna have a lot of problems in this case, but one of the problems they're very likely to have is that uh, due to the fact that this case, or this judge, excuse me, made this ruling in the North Texas court, uh, where the case is appealed is predetermined by federal law. So the place it's going to be appealed is in the Fifth Circuit. So in the Fifth Circuit is where the mock decision uh, that we referenced earlier uh, came out with the um, logical outgrowth test. So if slash when they appeal it to the Fifth Circuit, it's highly unlikely the Fifth Circuit's going to change their mind and overturn this national injunction. So uh, where it goes from there, that I do not know. But that is what I expect to see going forward in the next coming months or weeks. Who knows? But again, as of right now, we have a uh, national injunction for every single person in America who owns a pistol brace. So good news for now. We will see what happens going forward. And really, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys are new here and you like this type of video, make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, if I can speak. Uh, additionally, hit the notification bell. If you've done both of those and you're not seeing two to four videos a week here, make sure you sign up for my email list at the website here on your screen. The email goes out once a month and it's not spammy at all because it goes out once a month. <laughs> and it just has all the videos from since the previous month's email. Uh, so that way there's no big tech giant censoring you from my algorithm. Additionally, check out my social media pages, particularly the non-meta ones. Uh, that's where I share things like this before we can get out and make videos. Additionally, we post good deals to uh, uh, things like braces, stocks, guns, ammo, etc. there that you guys can pick up and hopefully save yourself some money. Additionally, we post stories that are, you know, good news. Like the other day, we posted a story about a woman who defended herself against two male attackers by shooting them. Good for her. Um, and then lastly, guys, we have a daily deals email where the email goes out every single day, as the name indicates, and it has eight of the best deals that we find around the internet. If the item is in the email on that particular day, it's the cheapest that I know of anywhere on the internet. So that way, I've already done the price comparison for you and you guys save some time because I've already done it for you and hopefully save some money as well. Definitely check that out. There's also a good meme in there that everyone seems to like. And with that, that's all I have for you. Look forward to your comments down below and I hope, hope to see all of you in the next video.